we're just going to run through some different ways of testing Tylo elements. In front of us we have an element from a solar heater and this one's marked with some yellow paint which tells us that it's from an 8 kilowatt heater. That's a single element from a steam tank, normally out of the smaller ones. And here you see the dual element out of the larger steam tanks. First of all to test them we just check across the ends of the elements with an ohmmeter and just make sure that we've got a circuit through them and what the actual resistance is. We can see on this one we've got 20.1 ohms resistance which is correct for that element. We can check on the single one again just make sure we've got a circuit through it. And that one's 26.2 ohms. That tells us it's from a 6VA tank. And then the larger one at the end that was from a bigger tank again, that's 36 ohms. And as you can see at the end we have one element is the two outer tabs and then the inside element is the two inside tabs. That's the different element configurations of them. Once we've checked that we're happy that the resistance is okay, the next thing to test is with an insulation tester like this one. This is a 500 volt tester and we check them to earth by clipping one clip onto the element somewhere or the tank and the other one onto the end of the element. And you can see this one is 3.18 mega ohms. Anything below one mega ohm would normally trip out an RCD earth trip. That's a very important way of testing elements, but you do need a 500 volt insulation tester. We can check this one. Again, one leg of the element down to earth. And we can see this one is 3.08 ohms. So again, it's okay. And onto the last one, we can check both sides of this one. That one is completely clear. There's no faults on that whatsoever. And the second element, completely clear. So this one is probably a slightly newer made element. And this is probably a slightly older one. That the metal on them is slightly, very slightly porous. And in time the moisture can seek into them. If you get problems with them tripping a trip out, the first thing to try and do is to disconnect the element, connect it onto a lead, a mains lead, and plug it in a socket and see if you can just warm it up to dry the moisture out. If you have any other problems with Tylo elements or any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.